In IPv4, we use address resolution protocol and broadcast to find out which devices are connected to a network. In IPv6, we don't have ARP and we don't have broadcast. So how does it work? In IPv6, these functions were taken over by Neighbor Discovery, ICMPv6 and Multicast. In this video, you will see how Neighbor Discovery works. The IPv6 Neighbor Discovery protocol is a set of messages and processes to establish and maintain connections between IPv6 devices in the same network. Neighbor Discovery has five types of messages. The router solicitation, router advertisement, neighbor solicitation, neighbor advertisement, and redirect messages. Now let's take a look at what each of these messages does. The host starts a neighbor discovery process. In IPv6, the host has more control in the process than in IPv4. When an IPv6 host joins a link on a network, it will first try to find a router. It will send out a router solicitation message to discover whether there are IPv6 capable routers on the link. The router solicitation message is sent to the all routers multicast address. All routers will get messages sent to this address. In the header of the router solicitation message, you will see that the source address field contains either the IPv6 unspecified address or a link local IPv6 address. The link local address contains the sending interface of the host. The destination address field contains the all routers multicast address. A router will send a router advertisement directly to a host whenever it is queried. For example, when it receives a router solicitation. But a router will also send router advertisements periodically to the all nodes multicast group as part of its routine. A router advertisement is sent over multicast and contains a lot of information such as the link prefixes that the host can use, the link MTU, specific routes, and whether or not to use address auto configuration. The source address field in the router advertisement contains the link local address that corresponds to the sending interface of the router. The destination address field contains either the all nodes multicast address or the IPv6 unicast address of the host that sent the router solicitation message. With the information contained in the router advertisement, the host now has all it needs to set up an IPv6 connection. As we mentioned earlier, there is no ARP in IPv6. So how do hosts find each other on a network? In IPv6, the function of ARP is replaced by neighbor solicitation messages. Any IPv6 host can send a neighbor solicitation message at any time. This can be done to request another host's link layer address, or to verify that an old cached link layer address can still be used to reach a neighbor. In response to a neighbor solicitation message, the other host sends a neighbor advertisement. Router solicitations, router advertisements, neighbor solicitations and neighbor advertisements all use the ICMPv6 protocol. The fifth neighbor discovery message is the redirect message. Redirect messages are used by routers to either point hosts toward a more preferable router or to indicate that the destination actually resides on the link. Do you want to learn more about neighbor discovery? Check out RFC 4861.